Glowing. The temperature has gone up today. It's, it's 32. 32. Here we go, let's feel it. It's funny, isn't it, how much the heat does take it out of you? Because at home, we regularly walk 10, 15,000 steps. I don't even think about it. I could walk 30,000 steps. I could walk all day and not think about it. Is but this heat just... These little moments of coming out and vlogging as we come out each day reminds me of being in New York. Do you remember in New York? Me and my mum would always start our day with a yeah. coming out of the actual uh, hotel. Whee. So coffee, and let's go and see oh what Stasi God, Berlin was so like. Hot. Sat beneath a wooden work of art. There's a little man on the top there, painted by an artist, but of course he's best painted by the ship from Bidgins. So this is our last morning on, oh, it's been so lovely. It's been very odd. It's an odd city, Berlin. It, it's charms are hidden, I'd say. It's charms you have to dig for. It's charms you have to persist with just wandering. And I have to confess, I mean, it's the case with most places, but you need to wander around the least likely looking areas on foot. And then you discover little places where you can chill out, relax, like the deck chairs. The deck chairs by the lake on that lawn that night was one of my favorite moments. And like today, we're targeting a couple of things. We're gonna jump in cabs because we haven't got that much time. But uh, it really has been lovely just wandering around. I have genuinely relaxed. Um, so yeah, so I would say Berlin on an initial sort of view, perhaps not somewhere to go, but then on another view, even though we had to sort of, well, we felt we ought to put pull down that photo that we did at the memorial, uh, at the Holocaust Memorial. It's a place with a deep, dark, troubling history. And yet I have, to, I have to compliment the Germans and the Berliners on how they take ownership of it. And you, and you feel that there's no, you know, you don't feel that there's any sort of exploitative ownership of it. You know, they're not, they're not rinsing it for tourists or anything like that. It's a fact, it's a reluctant and a regrettable fact, and they take ownership of it and they share in it with visitors so that we can all go to the other corners of the world and ensure to the best of our ability, it doesn't repeat itself. So I think I've been charmed. It's a slow charm, Berlin. It has a slow charm. It's worked a slow, slow charm on me. Explain to the subs just how. Oh, oh, I mean, beyond, 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 beyond. This is like, I mean, I've traveled a lot in the Middle East and it is the Middle East. It's the level of, it's Dubai, isn't it? It's Dubai. You've you can't the... walk in this. We've been walking in this the whole time. We're not walking today, we're cabbing it. Yeah. I think it just... this is global warming. Yeah. It feels different, doesn't it? I think it's really, really frightening. I maybe, think when maybe. they talk about the planet heating up, this is what they're talking about. And the thing is, if we're in Europe going to get this hot, think of the countries that are already suffering this with terrible drought. How, this is the whole world is heating up like this. <laughs> got to listen. Got to listen to what people are screaming at us. Shame on you, Donald Trump. Iced coffee. Oh, my God. God have you never had, had it before? No, really. I used to love no, it. I must have you. It's really, really nice. Oh, good. Yeah, really nice. Just want to say, one of you guys, one of our subs, really interestingly informed us that this chap... Yes. Wherever you see him on a crossing, as a green man to let you go, that was former East, East Berlin, Berlin. Which is a great Thank marker. Thank you for whoever it was that... Yeah. That. We loved that. Thus proving where we were up there was East Berlin. Yeah. Thank you for all your comments. So yeah. many lovely so comments. So many lovely comments. Your... We're going to do more and more of these vlogs. Yeah. Next weekend, we're doing camping. Yeah, with Lisa, lovely Lisa. You know my friend Lisa. We all love her anyway, but uh, yeah, we're doing that. It's going to be a challenge for Mark. Why? Because women. Being away with the girls. Oh, no. Yeah, but yeah. you're fine. You can go off and have your time I might go into the woods. And, I might go into the woods and sort of carve yeah. arrows out of saplings. Yeah, you can go shooting, shooting, Crossbow and bolt shooting. Oh, that's attractive light. Very unforgiving on you, isn't it? We're checking out. Bye bye Berlin. By 12.05 Berlin, with our gorgeous view. We would fully recommend lastminute.com, whatever it was. Radisson Blue. Bookings.com. Bookings yeah, Radisson Blue. Yeah. Make right sure you get your center, refund from Airbnb, like right we did. Right at the centre of Berlin. It's brilliant. It's so quiet. It's been, I've spent quite a bit of time just looking out the window at people going yeah. back and forth. Absolutely joyful. Yeah. Really it's enjoyed that. A grower, not a show of Berlin. That's what I was saying just downstairs mm. before I had a coffee. I said it has a sort of, but if it had an ostentatiousness to it, it would be out of kilter with its history, I yeah. think. Yeah, you feel its history. You feel that it's kind of, it's, it's sort of a little bit sort of 
Humble. It's a humble city. So you can't say I don't bring Nadia to some of the most romantic places. We are now standing outside a Stasi prison. This would have been a place of this would have been absolute an abject terror. fear and terror. If you got dragged into here, you yeah. knew that you were going to go through some... And just look at the surrounding stuff. streets. So we are wholly okay. in East Berlin now. But look at these projects here. This is just... Yes, these gates would have just... Oh, my God. You know that sometimes there are... We won't have time for one, but sometimes the guided tours are by former inmates. I know, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, Christ. So you are now in a prison. The way they randomly come on is the testimony of the actual prisoners. So the prisoners will be completely sealed off from the outside world, just staring at a blank wall for weeks or months, no idea of space or time or anything, which then would just make them really easy to process by the end of it. souls trapped all around here. She's oh, my secretary, sir. She's trained him up at home. It's like the sound of her typing. of prisoners up here. like they were recreating the gods.
actually imagine how they would just start tearing each other apart, wouldn't they? Yeah. So just in there, see that guy there? Right? Yeah. He's a former prisoner of here, you... giving a tour all in German, so we can't hear what he's saying. But look, this is all the other offices, look. See, so much of this is the stuff of uh, dramas that you've seen on TV, isn't yeah. it? There's the courtyard. I just wanted to come over to this corner because there's a quintessential Eastern Bloc Stasi lookout. No, innocence was never presumed. Everyone that was brought in here was going to break. I was oh, just God. reading about that. And they said they would just... So initially, they would use the Russian methods in the early years, which was a lot of brutality, verbal abuse, beatings, physical torture. But then because, and then they changed because they didn't want the world to see them like that. So everything was about mental torture. Yeah. Like, so like they said, you know, keeping you locked up for weeks and weeks yeah. on bare concrete, staring at a wall. Oh my God, knowing so you'll break. Come out. Yeah, so they would torture them with that, that you'll get a really long sentence or we're going to arrest all your family. So people yeah. would just sign confessions about anything. Poor souls. Oh my God, again, gratitude for where we're born, where we live, how we've grown up. I mean, I've filmed over the years in many, many prisons. Yeah. Um, how does this one compare? Well, I don't know. The thing that really strikes me about that one is that, again, a bit like with the uh, Third Reich, it's the it's the administrative elements. Yeah. So those offices are found with a sort yeah. of wood veneer. And, and the nice wallpaper. Yeah, nice wallpaper and a sort of almost overly artificial civilization to them, yeah. civility. I find that the most chilling bit. So knowing... upstairs you've got a typewriter just tick, yeah. tick, ticking, tick, away, ticking away, and the secretary with a nice... And the nice... sort of board member in a room. Yeah. Meanwhile, downstairs, downstairs... A living hell. And you were saying they... Yeah, one thing, one of the things I was reading was that the Stasi got um, really intense training. One, a, big, a big part of their training was to ensure that no prisoners committed suicide. So you weren't, you couldn't escape Constantly the taken to the edge. Constantly taken to the edge. Mm. That place was being used thousands. in 1989. Yeah, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. 1989. Yeah. You were arrested for no reason whatsoever and you knew you probably weren't going to come out. Crazy, crazy. It's more of the war. It's a, uh, one and a half kilometres or something about Yeah. side gallery mm. and, that, and it's the gallery is it all the art that's actually on the on the right. wall I, I, I do get really confused when we're east and when we're west yeah, so that will have happened after the wall came yes. down because we're on yes, the east yes, side yes. there wouldn't have been a paint like that absolutely yeah. exactly so mark's gone for a very non-german fritz cola Ooh. it's cola light oh that looks good is it nice yeah it is really nice and tell the subject we've got lunch. I don't really know, but it's, it's kind of like Aston, walnut. Gorgonzola, spinach. Oh, gorgonzola. Yeah. I love gorgonzola. And I have gone for traditional German meatballs, red cabbage and mash. With this lovely mushroomy sauce that tastes a bit like Ikea meatballs, but better. Mmm. Oh, I love really some of that too. So we've now reached ludicrous temperature. Is that what you've ordered? Mark was going to go and get cheese the cake for... Is it a mama apple strudel? <laughs> strudel poodle alert. It's not like the other strudel poodles. No, that's a strudel. It's more like a cake. It's a cake. I can't imagine that's real. Rain. I miss rain. I love rain, babe. Lots of it back in the UK. Make now. rain come. It's coming here today. It'll probably rain when we go camping at the weekend. Yeah.
makes me feel more nervous when there's not anybody watching me. <laughs> Into the heat. Well, we are cooled down considerably, yeah. so. So we're heading back to the hotel to now for a bit. to chill before we, yes. before we get <laughs> before we get um, before we get a plane home. Yeah. Look what we've discovered: heavy chest house. It's just like what my chest was before you had it waxed. <laughs> that house needs a waxing. <laughs> Hairy chest house. So, babe the last two hours before we head back I think we should God we were lulled into full set of security in the air, in the art gallery weren't we with the aircon oh, yeah I can hello there's boiling again hey now I've got a bit of a bad back and then we're going to go and get an easy jet haven't we except there's no delays I think the storms are coming in tonight there seems to be oh, this God, constant I'm literally so excited about rain I know there seems to be this constant sort of will they won't they get on an airplane issue going on on this trip um should we go to that sex club now? <laughs> okay, so we've gone from the sublime to the ridiculous. The sky has just gone that colour. It's going to be a major storm. We've a major got storm. About a minute walk we've got a hell of a walk back because there appear to be no taxis to hail. So we're now rushing back to the hotel. And once again, a surplus of time to read a book, perhaps edit the vlog. Looks like it's doing that. Eat, eat, eat. And every, around every corner in Berlin, there's some smashed up, smashed up urban view that you can photograph. So I keep rushing off annoyingly and photographing them. Sorry, Nad. First drop of rain. So annoyed. So, Mark caught the first drop of rain. Yeah. So annoyed. And look, we're on this beautiful dual carriageway. Yeah, really beautiful. Dashing. <laughs> Can't get an effing cab anywhere. Be careful if you get struck by lightning with your holding phone. What? No! <laughs> on my thumb! I just got a raindrop on my thumb! <laughs> God, it it's just coming. goes to show you we have to appreciate. Oh! Another one? Yes! On my forehead! Oh my God, I'm scared in case it dries. You wouldn't want to be up there, there in the TV town. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah! Lots! Please! For the love of God, rain on me! <laughs> Rain on me, rain on me. Did you see it? Please don't mark. Put the phone down. No, don't, 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 mark, don't mark. <laughs> don't. Put it <laughs> off. People get electrocuted. Yeah. Mark, God, turn it off. People think I'm attacking you. People think you're a thief. No, attacked. but Mark, turn it off. Turn it off. People, <laughs> people think you're being Mark, I'm trying to smile so yeah. people don't think you're attacking me. Yeah. Like, turn the phone off. We're gonna get thunder's coming. Oh my God, this is so it's Mark, I really am worried about us getting electrocuted through the phone. Struck by lightning? Yeah. When it comes straight to your phone? Only if I do that. No, Mark, put it down. Oh, Mark. Mark. Hmm? Put it, Mark. <laughs> oh, I've got to cross the road, babe. I'm waiting for a bit of thunder. I'm scared. I'm not standing next to you. What if, no, I, got, no. what if I actually got struck? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, look, someone's got a Mac on. Oh. She was. That's she, a good sign. She knew it was coming. Oh, now it's raining. Go! Oh. Now it's well, it pouring! Really laugh, the way people are put trying to stop the rain getting on their hair. Why would you? It's boiling. 
It's tropical rain. It is. It's so oh, it's lovely. It's those great big fat drops. Big, fat, oh, really lightning red. just behind you. No, Mark, don't, don't, Mark, don't. <laughs> Turn it off. Mark. No. No. <laughs> Nadia is panic stricken about the fact Wait, that mobile don't. phones. Come on. Oh my God, don't. Come on. Mark. Stop it. Don't. Turn it off. <laughs> Mark. You're gonna get... Don't. You're going to die. I'm leaving. Oh. Thunder. <laughs> thunder. <laughs> don't. Don't, Mark. Don't. Turn... Okay. Oh my God. A million kinds of heaven. We've done that. Look down there. Uh, Boat. A million uh, kinds of heaven. There's our cathedral. There's our Cathedral. Run! No! Why? I don't Why know. Am I Just run! <laughs> oh, feels like this is just the beginning. This is what I've been dreaming of for weeks. Hey? This is what I've been dreaming of for weeks. It is, isn't it? And it's happening right now. It's happening. This is us. it. This is live. I mean, it's not live for you, but it's live for Yeah. Turn it off. We've got we're going. Will. We're going under trees. Turn it off. I'm not going under a tree with you with that phone. Come on. No, go ahead. I'll go ahead because I don't want to see you fry. You go behind me. Stay well back, Mark. Going down here. Come down fry here. Fry alone. Go down here. Fry alone. Where are you I going? Don't want to fry, babe. Well, you're, you're under the. Bounce off you and then hit me. You're under the trees. You need to move quick, it's over there. It's going to bounce off you and hit me. It's going to bounce off your chest and hit me. You're literally a walking conductor of electricity. Stop playing with my life. You're playing with my life. Mark, go away. No. Leave me. You're on your own. You're dying at the moment. We've made it back home. Through the park. Andy's over there. Somewhere. Oh. Nice uh, sculpture park. This is really dangerous. So people are running across this road like oh nutters. God, I don't even know how to cross the road. You can't cross the road when there's a crossing. Okay, it's looking right. kind of clear after this red right. car, but look, there's a bike as well. Oh no. You ready after the bike? After the bike, hang on, hold it. After the bite, to the middle. But then what are we going to do when we get to the middle? Stay, stay the middle. Just keep going. Keep going. Stay the middle. No, Wait. no, no. Go, go, go. No. <laughs> Do you not hear the thunder? What are you listening to? It's Can really you hear the loud. Rain? Oh my god, it sounds like war. You might have to check if the bikes are going wrong. They were talking over there about delayed cancel cancellation. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Imagine if it's cancelled. <laughs> so we, that's the rain, that sound you can hear is the rain. Now, imagine if we'd left 20 minutes later. Ooh, that was a really... It's insane out there. Yeah, planes can't take off in there. Just can't. So we could be staying in Berlin another night. Oh my God, the kids. That kid kid's going to Chesilton tomorrow. I know. I'm sat here now in reception with that sound. Nadia's just checking whether the flights are cancelled or not. And I'm looking up at that aquarium. And as I'm looking at it, I'm imagining what could happen if that was overwhelmed with water and it potentially burst outwards. I'm going to show you my view. It's a kind of like reversed vertigo involving water and fish landing in your mouth. There's Nadia. Imagine if that burst open now and a crack developed there. Final goodbye to the Radisson Blue opposite the cathedral. <laughs> Bit of a she hit. Loved. Yeah. Kind of pleased Airbnb was shit. <laughs> Aren't you? Say goodbye to the bear.
He's a Care Bear. Let's head out into the pouring rain. Oh no, it stopped. So what's happened? Oh my God, we were sat in that hellhole of a bloody um, departure lounge, just waiting. No announcements, anything. Mark went to go and check when our flight was coming in. And it's just cancelled, not a single soul to speak to. Nobody from EasyJet, nothing. I had a feeling it was going to be. What do we do now? What do we do now? How do we get back through? Uh, I have to ask these police. So there we are. That's the queue for people to get replacement flights. I don't think we want to fly to Birmingham. We've got no one, no one is at home with the kids now. Literally, they're not. Just, I've never actually had a flight cancelled. Cancelled. Okay. What have you had to hotel. do? Hotel. You usually have to stay in a hotel. And so right now we don't know this if we're flying tomorrow. Flying. We're certainly this not is flying tonight. The last time I ever go on EasyJet. I'm never flying EasyJet. Never, never. And at the moment, our luggage is now trapped plane side, security side, and we. I'm not allowed back in to go and collect it. So we are luggage. And they don't seem that bothered. No, they don't, no, of course they don't, because they're because it's a budget airline. Oh my God, Mark's still in there. This is the most upsetting ending to our break. EasyJet have just gone, no, the flight's cancelled. We might not, no flights for you tomorrow. Might be no flights the next day. You have to get a bus to here, a hotel where you don't know where it is. Queues and queues and queues. So we queued for two hours in there. Now we've, we've been queuing for two hours just to get a ticket to then wait for another three hours to get our suitcase. We're so upset. Such a horrible end to it. And it's gonna cost a fortune. The whole thing's gonna cost a fortune. We could have gone to the fucking Caribbean by the end of this. I hate EasyJet. I will never use them again as long as I live. When we said to them, so like, it's always people, I mean, at least we haven't got children. There's people with babies and toddlers screaming. They go, well, it's your fault. You booked a budget airline. I mean, that's what I just keep saying to Mark. Thank God we haven't got babies. And poor people here with kids. And what is it now? It's like midnight. Oh. I just can't literally actually won't believe, believe what's just happened. Security guards, they just told Security guards just tapped me on the shoulder and said, delete your footage. Delete your footage. Delete your footage. We're going to throw everyone out There's no the way airport. I'm fucking deleting this that footage. This is so unfucking believable So we just said, we want our bags. Everyone's wanting the bags. There's people in there with their pills. We know There's the bags haven't children. gone anywhere. She said, I can't tell you when you're back. I can't even tell you if they're going to be here tomorrow. And you've just got to all stand in one corner and wait for them. They're mad. Do they honestly think people aren't going to flip out? You've probably said it before at some point in your life. I am never, ever going to fly EasyJet again. Do you remember the documentary about EasyJet? And we used to sit in the comfort of our own armchair saying, why are these people so irate? Why are they so crazy? Why don't they calm down? Well, we've properly found out tonight. EasyJet, shame on you, shame on you. People with children here, two days been left with no information, not even any water brought to them, never again. So having been asked by security to stop filming, we're now waiting at the arrivals desk and they have sent people in to get the piece of items of luggage, four items of luggage at a time. But they're hurling abuse at uh, all the passengers who've been here. Some of them have been here for two days at a time. And uh, so yeah, they're going in to get four bags at a time. I'm not totally confident they're gonna bring our bag out still. So it's ridiculous. Hours later, you just, you would not believe what's going on here. So now there are two women going through there, getting the suitcases for three cancel flights, three at a time on a trolley. People are getting really upset. Still no sign and what makes me so upset is people stood for hours and hours just patiently Very and quiet. quietly, not saying anything. And then as soon as everyone's like, come on, where's our case? And they'll go, calm down. Unless you calm down, we won't give you any information. We'll shut down the airport. We'll put you out. It's the worst airport and I've ever been the security guards over there again looking at me. Yeah, security guards want us to delete our film. Won't let us film. Can you believe that? It's five minutes past midnight. We've been standing in pointless queues for four hours. Never, ever, ever seen people treated like 
they treated us no. in that hotel, in that airport. It was shocking. The and, arches, and we, the arches of my feet have collapsed. <laughs> my heels are in agony. We're going to get to that. So we're going back to the, to the hotel, hotel that we were in, and we're going to eat everything in the mini yeah. bar. Yeah, but everything. even that makes me feel bad because there's people that are just going to have to spend another night in the yeah. airport. And it's easy to say we won't fly with EasyJet again when a lot of people don't have a choice with these budget airlines. But I'm telling you now, customer service is diabolical. 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 Oh look. We're arriving at our hotel. Isn't that great? Middle of the night. Having nearly been arrested. Treated like cattle. Ignored. Made mad. Oh look, look, we're back. We're back. We're back. It's We're so back. nice to be back. Yeah. There we go. Oh my God, how bizarre folks. So we checked out of here how many hours ago and here we are back again. So we've just made it to our room. Oh, we've just got a little bit of vertigo. But I don't know if you can see over there is the tunnel of fish, which isn't really compensation for the night we've had. Looking at fish, swimming around a tube. The only fish I want to see right now is on my plate. So we're back in our room. I'm about to raid the mini bar for non-alcoholic drinks. We're gonna climb into bed. And then we've got, we've got another half day in Berlin. Not at really. At some cost, huh? Not really, not really. Not really. What a cluster! But the thing fuck. is, we could get there tomorrow, and this is what everybody's saying: <sighs> is that we could get there tomorrow because there were lots of people that have been going back and forth to the airport for two days, and it could be cancelled again. This is a little reminiscent of trying to escape East Berlin. Are we never going to leave? <laughs> Are we never going to get maybe. out? Maybe. Maybe this know is what? maybe this is to teach us after the Stasi Museum to eat Brazil nuts. We've got chocolate Brazils. I have to confess, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be blunt and I'm gonna be brutal. I am really surprised by how disorganized Germany's capital city's leading airport is. Now, Germany is the leading we economy. We won the war. That's all I'm say that. Why, we did. But you can't say that. No, but I think the way that that airport has been run has proven why we won the war. Here's the thing, Mark, Germany is I the... I am not being anything other than truthful. Did we or did we not win the war? Well, the Americans won it for us. Sorry. Well, the Germans didn't. The Germans didn't. And that was proven today by the state of their airport in Berlin. Right, true. Um, there's a ring at our door at this ludicrously late night time. Who is it? Stasi. Given the fact that Germany is supposed to be the biggest, most successful economy in Europe, that was not an airport with an infrastructure system of the most successful economy in Europe, it, was I it? Have, Morocco was better. Mar Marrakesh, much better. And that's not being, dis that's not being Jordan, disingenuous to Marrakesh. Jordan, where my dad's from, better. Yeah, better. And these are places that would, you would traditionally and wrongly think, OK, well, they probably haven't got the infrastructure. For it. But that was Berlin. I kept turning around to people and going, is this Berlin's main airport? Because there was nothing there. Even when it was going smoothly, it was like a pop-up airport. But it was interesting, you know, because we were all beside ourselves because everyone wanted to get home to their families and whatever. But it wasn't until everyone started communicating with yeah, each yeah, other... Yeah. that people felt... That you got that blitz spirit where yeah. everyone was, like, joking and laughing about it. But... the war again. You keep using war analogies, babe. But, Mark, what can you do? Well, not use war analogies. The way you've been treated when that security guard told you... I have never had a more chilling hand on the shoulder, you will delete that clip, sir, won't you? I was like, no, I won't. At which point Nadia was grabbing my hand saying, you're going to get arrested. It wasn't the police, it was Secret Service, which is worrying. Oh, what are you? Oh, I'm going to nice. have jelly babies. Mm -hmm. So, our unlikely next morning in Berlin. And oh, look, the fish are still there. Look at that, swimming with the fishes. Oh. Which is quite lovely, isn't it? It's just like Dubai. We did go to Dubai many years ago. They have a huge, huge um, aquarium. I used to love aquariums. I think it's just cruel. You know, you're heading down to the basement to do cycle three, hit one. I did it, guys. 
I did it. Now for the interminable journey. I feel like I'm gonna have post, I feel like I've got post-traumatic stress disorder going back to that airport. It's such a depressing place. So fingers crossed we get on this flight, eh? Morning, guys. We're in the same hotel as we were. I don't know if you could really see that last night. That is the aquarium right down the center of the hotel. I'm just gonna turn it around actually, hang on. There it is, all the way down. I just saw a diver in there, it was so mad. I opened up the curtains up, we're up high. Down there's breakfast, look, there's the lifts. Crazy hotel. And there's a hot husband. Oh. Huh. Say morning to the subs. Morning subs. How are you? Exhausted. He just did his workout. Exhausted. Tell them how you had, what you had to do to have shorts to be able to do your workout. To dry them with a hair dryer. Because of course we weren't expecting to be here. So Mark's shorts were still wet from yesterday. So he dried them with a hair dryer. That is commitment. It is. So today we are, I mean, we didn't get to sleep till about half two this morning, so we're both a bit jaded. I've done my back in, which has really pissed me off because it means I can't do any exercise, which means I'm stressed. Um, and I've suddenly got the absolute fear that actually it's only, it's not that long now until I go away to Delhi. Um, yeah, August, September, two and a half months I've got. So if this back is going to put me out for any length of time, it's going to be very annoying. So if anyone's got any tips on how you can still work out with a bad back, I'd be most happy. Um, yeah, so we've basically got to go to the airport today. We're actually booked with British Airways now. So hopefully we'll be okay. But I've just read the British Airways are on strike. Yeah. So we could potentially be in... Berlin again tonight, which is a huge problem because we've got no one to look after the kids. Um, I've got to do loose women tomorrow. Mark's got a really big meeting tomorrow. Yeah, so keep your fingers crossed for us, guys, that we do actually get on the flight. I've never ever come across sparrows as vicious as this. These sparrows currently want to eat chicken teriyaki. It's really odd. Really odd. Have you ever known a sparrow want to eat chicken? It's like cannibalism, isn't it? Yeah. Fat, he's eating too much, that one. He's a beast, he's an obese sparrow. Watch this. We're now Second gonna, lucky. we're gonna try and leave Berlin. Yeah. We're gonna I see mean, how it goes. There's a history of it not being easy to leave parts of Berlin. Yeah, so. we feel a bit like that. So we're gonna try and leave Berlin. Um, I'm still having to check the app the whole time because of the strikes with British Airways. So, um, what can we do? If we can get home, we can get home. designed for cobbles. <laughs> it's funny how we were just saying that, um, I, I really expected when we came here that we were going to really know the difference between when we were between East and West Berlin, didn't we? But we haven't been able to guess no, it once. Really, no. <laughs> and we're none the wiser now. Well, no, like if I said to you now, what side are we no, on? No, very much felt it yesterday at the Stasi prison. Yeah, so very what side are we on now? I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. I have got a clue. Uh, there's no little green man, so I presume no. it's not east. Oh, there is. There's a green man. All right, so it's east. Oh, we're east. So far, so good. We are checked in. Now, this is exactly where we got to yesterday with EasyJet. So, so far, we are going home. Not to the right airport, but we're getting back. We're already arguing to how best to get back in London. But, um, wow, God, that's so different. British Airways, we love you. Oh. We're really excited. We're now in another queue, which is taking us ever closer to the possibility that we might get home. Just had to order Just Eat Burger and Chips for the girls because there's no food. I've they dared. haven't been fed. <gasps> huh? I've dared to even book a cab home. That's pushing it. I know. That's pushing it. I know. That is Be prepared to it. cancel. Oh, God. We're actually going through. Look, guys. We're actually going through. Did you believe it? Did you believe it all happened? We got this far home. on the way back from LA and then they got yeah, us all we off got the flight. On the plane. We waited for four hours on the plane and then they got us off. I'll believe it when we land. You're not actually going to believe this, Subs. Tell them. We're on the plane. 
the engines are on and we've just had a message from the captain saying that due to bad weather in London we can't take off for at least another half an hour. Is that the beginning of the end? Is that the this worries the... us because we've been in these situations yeah. before and That's then the a bit the down the line you're getting off the plane because you've lost your slot. You've got the yellow plane for arrival. We did it. If you are con connecting onto another we'd flight like to Hampton from Peter, oh no, today, we've landed in Rome. The purple signs with flight connections were. So at some point, at some point, the Berlin vlog has to end, Mads. God, your roots are white, aren't they? I know. Will you do it for me? Do what? I've got to put it on the show tomorrow. Will you do my roots for me? Do your roots? How do I do your roots? I'll get the stuff and I'll tell you what you have to do. Oh my god, so is this, so we say, Alfidasane? Yeah, Alfidasane. Uh, as we We've stand got though, home. we got home, but as we stand, we still haven't got our yeah, case. So we don't know what's happening. So Alfidasane. No of any cases. See you back in home time. I think we'll go for a nice quiet, we'll turn it bright next time we go away. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, I'm pleased I said Berlin, although I meant Munich. <laughs>